Hey guys on YouTube, Bernie Rickers here. Um, this was supposed to be like a two days ago video. I'm sorry, I please apologize for not actually recording this right now. Well, like, well, sooner. It was because I was busy hanging out with friends for my birthday. And if you guys know, I am now 17 years old. So, hallelujah, me. And I got a new and I got this. Well, no, the actual game I'm playing on this. It's a Pokemon game, not Sun and Moon. So basically, I'm gonna be answering some of your questions on here. I actually screwed up Mandy Shane because I actually tried to cut this little one right here. This one, because this these two were under each other. It was like this, so I accidentally cut Mandy Chan. I tried to tape it back on there, but I kind of fucked it up. So anyways, I'm going to start with Mandy Chan first. So here's her questions right here. And I can't understand. I could understand it right now. First question from Mandy Chan. What is your cuter mark and how did you get it? That I, um... The, my cutie mark kind of um, stand for art, courage, and gaming because my life I've always been loving drawing and painting. I'm not really good at painting though. So I use a paintbrush instead for my drawing. And well, the painting for it I use for Photoshop, so if you guys all know about it. And how I got it is because my OC. Um, he, I know he's not a unicorn or anything, but he actually learned how to play video games and doing pictures at two at the same time. And it's really kind of hard to do it because it, because I, I actually did that before. Like, I was like playing with my 3DS with only one hand and doing the other one with two hands. Like, I'm holding a Game Boy right, the 3DS here on my right. On my well, on left hand, this is my right. Oh my god, the left and right shit. Oh my god. And the one I played for playing it was um, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, this one. Mario Kart Seven. And sorry for not for showing you guys this, but I'm not the one who created it. It was a period from uh. Um, fuck it. Uh, just fuck it. So, yeah. That's how I got, that's how my OC got his key to mark. He played that two things at the same time. And then, boop, there it comes. And, next question. From Andy Shan, number two. What is, what is your favorite music? Uh, Metallica. Um, what's that other one? Metallica, Linkin Park, Brink and Ventureman, The Skull Something. I don't, forgot. fuck, I don't know what the hell the other one is. Uh, remembering all the old songs and other other stuff, I was oh, in my head. Anywho, the other one is Fall Out Boys. They used to be good back in the days, and but they're still good. And you know, I haven't worn this hat for years. No. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, anyway, next question. What is your OC backstory? Haven't worked on it yet, but I only did half of it. But basically, if you already know, I had to change my OC again. I'm kind of pissed off about it. Had to change my OC five times, because this is number six. This is the sixth OC I have. Because the other one was actually a Draconiquist. My first one was a Draconiquist pony. Sort of like, um... Well, not to make it copyright. She was never invented, uh, made back a long time ago. So she was, my OC was kind of like Screwball, but that one had the Discord tail, Discord arm, but body of, but the body of a horse. But he actually, he does look like a horse that has a horse body, horse face, wings. Well, the other side is a double one. And it does have the horn. So that was a Draconic, a Draconicus. OC Pony. That was my first one. And what happened is this, um, wait, why am I talking about that? The question is, um, what is my OC backstory? Basically, my, my OC's backstory, um, 
I always wanted to be an archaeologist when I was a kid. I still want to be like that. I'm doing my so basically my OC that I have for my number six is all that I want to do on my childhood. So this one, uh, my OC have met Daring Do at a museum, and Daring Do actually gave him something that was, that was actually hers. It was a medallion, I think. I don't remember. What was it? Oh, where's that book? Here it is. No. Oh, oh, here it is. Ah. Uh, no. Yeah, here it is. <coughs> it, Darren do actually give him a necklace. It was a golden, a golden wing pony. So it was the shape of a pony doing this, like how how Princess Celestia raised the sun. So it was that. And what my OC, and what she said to my OC, she said, never give up of your childhood. Always become what you always wanted to be. And what my OC said, she wanted to be just, just like her when she grows up. And that's how he did. <coughs> He became an archaeologist, and there was actually I invented a, a freaking funniest thing ever on of a Daring Duke's uh, high school. It was basically for archaeologist people, and that's how my that's how the backstory goes. It's still not finished yet, so that's where I'm stopped at. Like I didn't explain anything right there. This the school is where I stopped at, and I'm still working on it. All right, next question. How did you get in a fandom to begin with? I don't know. But basically, if you already know about this one video, like hi, I always been talking about myself, not other po not other other people. Because my life used to mean like hell a long time ago. I basically never said it to anybody, and I really don't. I always worried about people. I worry about my brother and sister, and my other little sister and brothers. But not others, because I used to have been picked on a long time ago when I was a kid. My one friend actually, well, not my friend, no more. I was hanging out with him, and he t he told me to, he lied to me. I uh, I was basically born as a brony a long time ago, when I was a kindergarten, because I always loved Generation Two and Three actually, because my mom actually bought a DVD of my sister for it, and um, I actually did had a toy of Pinkie Pie, and I brung it. And he said, because he was a brony and he wanted to see what it looks like. But actually, he lied to me. He got it. They actually pushed me. He, friend, pushed me to the ground and started digging my backpack looking for that toy and actually destroyed it. So that's why I stopped caring about other people. I always care about myself and my family. So, brush. If you are watching this, I'm actually deeply sorry for everything I said about your cat. Like, I'm really sorry that I didn't know I was hurt, like her paw. So I'm deeply sorry. And I'm sorry for you, all of you other bronies. But here's one thing I want to tell you guys, all of you guys. Breeding a brony is like what you're meant to be, is who you are. So, never give up at being a brony. Is what you is what you meant to be, and if you love the show and other people don't doesn't like it, they must have been hiding. They have to have something that they've been hiding. Because everyone always has secrets that they're always afraid of telling them. Like telling them they're a brony. They love MLP. They love Hello Kitty or other stuff, other kids show that no one doesn't know about. It's okay to tell. And 
if you've been picked on, if you're a brony that everyone always said you're a brony, you're gay and other stuff like that, just ignore them. Never, never listen to them. They don't know anything. So please, never give up being a brony. It's what you are and what you always be, be will be. So please take my advice, okay? Number five for next for Mandy Chan. If one of the main six, um, if you enter a day of bleh, fucking cock, man. If you could only see one of the main six, who would you choose, and what would you tell them? Uh, ugh, my bad, not tell them. What would you do with them? The person who I want to meet is Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie is always my favorite. And Luna, actually. So, if I meet Pinkie Pie in real life, I will tell her to let's have a huge ass party with everyone. everyone. So, that's it for Mandy. Next question from uh, Pink Pony Art Something. This is her. This is her account. She said, "Do you probably uh, damn it? Do you always think of working with other MLP animators? Working with other anim anime ponies will be actually pretty cool because." My idea are kind of cool, but how they do it is pretty amazing. So if I actually was working with them and changing it, changing it, I'm pretty sure they won't like it. So that so it would be cool for working with other bronies, brony animators. But I'm actually kind of afraid of what they will say to my story, cause that's why I only post it on my account, like only comic book stuff. So. Working with other pronies is going to be probably really hard. <sighs> Next question from Reader Girl. Or whatever. I can't say her name. Latin, her first name, right? My question What is. What are you truly. Uh, think on. Club. You know, I've been getting this freaking stupid word on a lot on tumblr because I do have a tumblr account now I'm gonna freaking see what the hell that is right after the next one not right now because actually my freaking google is taking so long because I'm actually kind of printing something out right now and it's already finished um question from cool kicker no cool kicker. How is your favorite main sick pony? Are you trying to? Um, this is the first question that she said. She said, "How is your favorite main six? Are you trying to say like who or what? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, main six, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy." Favorite episode? Hmm. It's kind of a hard one. Um, I will go with Winter Wrap Up, um, Hearts and Who's Day. Well, I'm actually kind of hate Valentine's Day. No offense. I do like it a little, but not a lot. Because I always get dumped on Valentine's Day. And, um, hmm. What's that other episode? That. Uh, Season five, the end of the episode when uh, Starlight Glimmer and Twilight Sparkle and Spike went back, went back in time to stop Rainbow Dash doing the Sonic Rainbow. That was kind of cool. Other showing all the cool stuff that how Rainbow Dash looked, how everything changed. It, one is kind of weird that. Uh, well, one I was kind of confused. They should have did one more thing about that one. They should have did one with Discord. 
like Discord actually taking over the world <laughs> and then making other ponies their sla his slave. That would be really cool. But the one that was kind of cool is like the middle of nowhere. I'm pretty sure that every other Brody said that's Fallout from MLP. <laughs> but if little, little Pip freaking came out of nowhere in the background, that would be really awesome. Anyways, uh, next, same question from this one. Um, what do you think of my OC? And here's the link right there. Um, I'll put, I'll put a picture right here. Um, how, what do I think about your pony? Um, if you're a dude, then I would probably say, like, you should probably be a guy OC or something. But if you're a girl, then I would say that maybe you should probably do... How the body that I used my old OC was always my favorite color because the first time when I had it, I always used red and black and red, black and blue. So those are the three favorite color I like. So that's why I used that kind of picture of them, of my OC. But right now, I use my other favorite color, red and white. So yeah, I would say use your favorite color for them. The body of it is really cute. Okay. But if I'm, but not to be aware of, like keep everything, but use your favorite color, your color, the color of your favorite eye color or your favorite color of your body. Like the most deepest color you love, use that for your body. And that's what I'm trying to say. All right, that's it for all the QVP. Yeah, QVP. QVP. Alright, that's all for Q the QVP. Um, so this stupid one about Klopa thing. I don't know what the fuck that... I don't know what the hell that is. I got the same thing on freaking Tumblr. I really don't know what the hell that is. So, I guess I'm just going to look it up right now. Do I have to put it in? No. Uh, C O. So, no, my bad. Uh, C L O P. Club. There's the mic right there. What in the 